What's up everybody? Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Uh, just real quick, quick intro. Um, I'm finishing up in the yard, but uh, just want to show y'all something real quick and uh, then I'll get into the video when I get back in the truck after uh, going next door to uh, pick up payment from the neighbor and uh, on my way to the next job. So I'll show you this real quick and uh, know what you think. Look at those stripes, y'all. That is no stripe kit. That is just cutting lift blades on the deer. So, let me know what y'all think. Not too shabby. Oh, Johnny Five making it happen today. Uh, I did some cutting with the skag already. It's doing good. Uh, there's a lower lift blade on those. That's all the dealer had. Um, so, it's not cutting as good as it was with the last set of blades I had, but still doing a good job. So, you know, um, I just want to show y'all those stripes, laying them down. Y'all let me know what you think, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Back in the truck. I'm on my way to the next property. It's kind of a small one. Um, probably won't get any footage there. I uh, just thought the finished stripe footage there. And that last one was pretty good uh something to maybe start a video with <laughs> and uh so the hits just keep coming y'all so um one of the yards that i just finished actually was scheduled to be done thursday so i'm two two days behind with that which is actually about four days behind when it's normally scheduled just because the way things have gone with rain and other stuff so just plugging along trying to knock them out quick as I can and uh, found out this morning that having my wife finally being kind of outside the I guess the final window of having COVID because she's had it and about 10 days ago she was diagnosed so she's on the tail end of it and uh but it diagnosed my youngest daughter with it this morning. Uh, she woke up and had a little bit of a fever, so we took her to the doctor's care office, urgent care office, and uh, they did a swab test. And um, they said her lungs and ears are good, and uh, she didn't have a temperature, so uh, she's got kind of a con head congestion and stuff. So I mean, it could very well just be a sinus infection, but I ain't getting into all that talk about the, the, the Rona. So, um, but she's been diagnosed with that, so she won't be able to do anything for at least she's got to quarantine for five days. Um, so she will not be able to, at best, possibly go back to school till Thursday, maybe even a week, uh, uh, the week after next. So, um, hey. That is what it is. Um, actually, this isn't a small yard. This is a bigger yard because I forgot this one's a little closer than that one on that small one. So, um, while I'm pulling up to this one, though, jump into this real quick. I had the son of this lady um, that I'm cutting this grass for here. Um, I had just recently cut her yard. It was the crazy thick... A ridiculously thick grass. Oh, there's a limb across the driveway. I hope I can get by that. Maybe. Without breaking something on the trailer. Um, but the last time I cut it, it was just ridiculously thick because we'd had all the rain. She's on a little bit of a fixed income. Uh, so she wanted to go to three weeks instead of two. So I upped the price a little bit. So that's fine. Um... It's getting a little tall again. It's not near what it was the last time I was here. Um, but the last time I was here, me and her negotiated to go back to a two-week schedule instead of a three-week schedule. Uh, maybe for just for the rest of the year. And he obviously didn't know, which I don't discuss it with him really. I discuss it with the customer, and that's pretty much it. Well, he messaged me yesterday. And he's already had two properties that I do for him that he's letting his son do, which is one's on either side of their house. And his son was already doing the house. He wanted to make some extra money. You know, I really, I don't have a contract, so 
uh, which those two, I was like, well, no big deal on those two. But yesterday he messaged me and said he was going to let his son and one of his son's, um, I think cousins, um, come down here and cut the grass today, which I was scheduled to cut the grass actually yesterday was two weeks. Uh, since I had finished cutting it, and I was actually scheduled to cut it Wednesday, but I was just behind and didn't get to it, and I didn't mow anything Thursday or yesterday, so uh, just some other stuff going on. So, um, I actually, when I got the text, I called him, and uh, I don't know, y'all may think that would y'all have done the same thing, but I just called him, and I said, hey man, look, I said, um, you know, I understand, you know, your son's trying to make a little extra money. Uh, I get that. I said, but this stuff here is, I said, this is part of my livelihood. This is part of me making a living. I said, uh, you know, I, I can take a, a, a cut here or there on, on a yard, um, certain properties, um, even though one of those two properties was fairly profitable, but um, still, I get that. I said, you know, that's already two. And I said, now you're talking about this this property. And uh, I said, I've already negotiated it, you know, with your mom to uh, go to a two-week schedule rather than a three-week because his point was, understandably, he did not want to be coming to his mom's house or have his mom living here and the grass be getting knee-high. So uh, moving forward, he said, um, you know, she's on a fixed income. She said, I don't care about that. She's, he said... Uh, cut the grass and he said you send me the bill and and I said I can do that I'll let you know when I'm gonna cut it I said I'll cut it at two weeks and I said um, I said if you go by there in 10 days or so or before that moving forward and you think it needs to be cut uh, give me a call and I will try to squeeze it in maybe and, and I can cut it sooner which is kind of beneficial for the both of us <coughs> <coughs> to a degree well, it's actually beneficial for all of us because his mom doesn't have to pay for it, saves her money. It it works better for him keeping his mama's yard cleaner. Cool deal. And on a shorter schedule, I get a couple extra cuts. Gives me an extra cut or two by the end of the year, maybe. And so that will um, put a little more money in my pocket in the long run. So I think it's a good situation. Um, like I said, you know, I just, I, had, I called him straight away and was like, you know, look, dude, you know, I got to be, you know, I can't be losing all these yards like this is, you know, to a certain degree, um, at, at, at the current time. So, and, uh, he was cool about it. He was like, yeah, just cut it and move forward. So, you know, do y'all think I handled that good? Um, which I'm guessing I did cause he wasn't mad at me when it was over and he still let me cut the grass. <laughs> um, which that's where I'm at now. I'll try to get a little footage of this one. Um, and y'all just let me know your thoughts on that situation. What would y'all have done? Have y'all ever had something like that happen with a customer? Um, and what did y'all do? So, uh, y'all stick around. All right, y'all. Hopefully, uh, I can get a little bit of footage here. Uh, it might just be point of view because I'm going to be using, uh, Oh, Johnny Five, get the Z track off. Because um, I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around here in a second and show you why. <laughs> um, didn't get any footage on the last one. Cut it with the V ride. Had to do some double cutting, but uh, it worked out good. Um, customer was very happy with it, so it turned out great. I meant to get some footage, but I had to make some calls. Uh, some finished footage, but I had to make some calls when I got in the truck. And. Uh, Drove off without doing it, so. <laughs> but uh, let me turn the camera around real quick and show you at nothing else, at least a before, and then uh, I might get some point of view from the C to the Z. If y'all can tell, good old bahia grass. Yep. Oh, look at that stuff over there by the front of the house. So, you can get the Z off and start knocking it out, y'all.
y'all. Johnny's back on the trailer. Um, I still got to do some trimming, but I'm done mowing. So I just kind of let you see the finished product from the standpoint of everything being mowed. So look at that, y'all. No, I'm not mowing the pompous grass right there. <laughs> oh, look at that stuff up there. That stuff was thigh high almost. Got it cleaned up pretty good. Had to load the skag up, but got this little area over here and the little area in front of the building. So, one more time around. Trim it out, clean up. Johnny Five getting it done, y'all. Stick around. All right, y'all, real quick, wrapping up today. Uh, camera cut off there. Uh, so, I don't know what happened with that. But, um,. Uh, Going home to check on my daughter. I was going to go start one more because I had about an hour, hour and a half of daylight left. Um, and hey, Ronaldo, I know you're going to be impressed. There's two videos I'm wrapping up before dark. <laughs> um, things just crazy, y'all. Uh, grinding it on out. I got some before, during, and uh, a point of view footage, and then some after finished footage of that last one I just did. Um, excuse me, and then I got the uh short footage of the stripes from earlier with the deer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not a whole lot to this video, a uh, little bit of mowing footage, some before and after shots type stuff, and uh, me talking. <laughs> so, um Yep, it's going to be an interesting week next week. We'll see. Um, plans changing every day. So uh, I may be having to call in um, reinforcements again. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see about that. But um, with my daughter being sick, I have to um, try to take my oldest to school. The youngest one is the one that's sick. Um, but she may just have to ride uh, ride with us there, uh, drop her sister off, and then um, just bring her back to the house. And then I won't be able to go out. Um, you know, I can't have my mom come watch her any and go mow or anything like that just because I don't want to expose anybody else to possibly getting it, especially my parents or anything like that. Um, so first couple days next week are um, kind of off limits <laughs> right now uh, so those were the th three days at least three of the first four days I was hoping to have the opportunity to maybe get into some landscaping work but uh, I'm gonna have to touch base with the three main customers that I have um, Hold on now. Oh, sorry. In close up, my Gatorade bottle fell on the floor. <laughs> I had it in my lean back. It's one of the bigger, like 28 ounce ones. It won't go in a cup holder. So I had it leaned over. And when the cup kind of, I mean, the truck kind of jerked to the side, it just rolled off into the, and rolled down there by my foot. You yeah, know, hey, it is what it is. Uh, just kind of laugh about it. Like I told somebody earlier, I said, hey, me um, sitting around moping about it is not going to make it any better. So, um, trying to have a good mindset about it and uh, keep pushing through and we'll get out the other side. So, um, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm almost back home. I said, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, thank y'all for taking the time to watch. Uh, not really the video I wanted to put together, but um, hey, I'm going to put something out there for my. Uh, loyal listeners <laughs> um, but thank y'all it's greatly appreciated I've got a couple new subscribers welcome to the channel um, I have to check my studio to see if I've actually got any indications of who that is maybe I can shout out a few of them but um, yeah shouting out uh, Mr. Ronaldo over at Big Sons a little earlier so shout out to him um, Shout out to Randall over at AMI. 
uh, Randall over at Elite Landscapes Life Stories. Uh, he commented on one of my recent videos. Uh, Randall's still always getting it done. Uh, you know, I haven't been up on some of my viewing with some of the people, but I do try to watch one here and there. And uh, hopefully I'll get back to a point where, you know, I can bask in everybody else's glory from time to time. <laughs> Uh, and as always, I got to shout out uh, Mr. Gerald over at Cleaning Green, and uh, I haven't shouted out Buster over at New Hope Cuts. Haven't shouted him out in a while. Um, and uh, Ray's had some some pretty interesting looking uh, videos coming out from the snapshots and the titles, so I have to check those out. So shout out to Ray. But thank y'all. I appreciate it as always. And just want to say, um, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.